Hello all, welcome to Tech with Sass. In this video, we'll talk about Strangler pattern in microservices. So if you have a big uh, monolithic application and you want to move to the microservice architecture, then what is the strategy you can utilize? So there are many strategies or many patterns uh, to convert uh, the uh, monolithic application to microservice application. Uh, so Strangler pattern is one of the strategy uh, for that. So let's understand how it works. So in this pattern, what we do, uh, we basically uh, carve out the existing functionality uh, from the uh, monolithic application and create a separate microservices for that. Or uh, if you have uh, some new requirement coming up uh, to modify this uh, old application, Rather than uh, adding that new functionality to, uh, to this uh, monolithic application, how uh, we create a separate web service for that or microservice for that, right? So eventually what happens that uh, the size of uh, the monolithic application uh, sinks and you get more and more uh, microservices. So at given point of time, uh, the monolithic application and microservice application exist together. But over the time, the monolithic application disappears and you get the fully functional microservices based application. So if you see uh, this uh, diagram, right, uh, here you can see a big uh, monolithic application and when you apply uh, the strangler pattern on this application, this is going to uh, shrink and you get uh, more and more uh, services over the time and eventually uh, you will get just a microservices based application and you get rid of the uh, monolithic application. So uh, this pattern is really useful in terms of like uh, playing safe because uh, you cannot uh, go uh, like big bang and convert your old application to microservice application one day uh, because you have to make sure that your business is always up and running. So this pattern is really helpful uh, in, uh, in this uh, terms. So, but uh, can we apply this pattern to all the monolithics? Uh, answer is not uh, like uh, black and white, but yeah, let's understand about that. So, suppose uh, you have uh, your uh, old application, like a big uh, monolithic application, which has like many functionalities. For example, an e-commerce application uh, that generally have this uh, cart orders, authentication for users, and payment services, payment uh, functionalities as well, right? So, uh, if, uh, but even then it is like a uh, big application, you have uh, modules, right? You have modular application. So whatever functionalities, they are part of one code base, but they exist separately in the same code base. So ultimately, uh, whatever monolithic you have is more modular in nature. But on the other hand, I have seen many applications uh, in which uh, code is not uh, very separate. Uh, like suppose you, in Java, you have classes, uh, that have object uh, with from like payment also from cart also. So uh, in that case is uh, the amount is not modular and it's difficult to uh, define the boundaries of the functionality. So uh, so this pattern is normally applicable easily uh, to the uh, monolithic which is modular in nature. But if you have monolithic which is not modular, uh, it's going to be difficult because uh, you need to make sure that whenever uh, these uh, monolithic and microservices based uh, services are running together or existing together, they should work together. Because suppose uh, if you carve out some functionality uh, from the application and it brings down your application, then it's not a, a good, uh, I mean, it's not available to your application as such. So we have to be very uh, like uh, thoughtful about applying uh, this pattern to our application. So suppose now uh, you identified, okay, my application is modular and I can uh, carve out the functionalities uh, and, and create uh, the microservices using this pattern. So what, how we will do, suppose you have like a simple uh, client like web or mobile, then you have a big amount um, application, which is having like a payment service, order service, and few more services. And these are interacting with a database service uh, in, in the backend, or database in the backend, right? And now uh, you want to apply this pattern. Uh, as first step, you identify, okay, which service uh, can, uh, which personality can uh, work uh, independently, right? So suppose uh, payment, you want to uh, 
uh, have a uh, basically a payment service working uh, and carve out from the monolithic application. So uh, you will remove the functionality uh, from the monolithic application and create a separate payment payment microservice, right? And then uh, this is going to uh, interact uh, with the database and then uh, both like monolithic application and this uh, separate uh, payment microservice will exist together. So whenever uh, monolithic application want to uh, get some payment services, it is going to call uh, this payment service. In conclusion, uh, we can say that this pattern is basically a transform and eliminate pattern. Uh, the first step is to uh, transform or create a new component as a microservice. Uh, new component may be the new functionality which you want to implement or maybe you can carve out a, a module from your uh, old application and then uh, both new microservices uh, and uh, the monolithic application both exist together they support uh, each other uh, to attain the business functionality but eventually uh, when you keep deleting the functionalities uh, from the uh, the old application uh, then what happens that and, and, and keep creating the microservices uh, from that maybe new functionalities or carving out the uh, functionalities uh, from the modules or homolith then eventually uh, you will get uh, the microservices based architecture application and then uh, the monolith will be disappeared so uh, this is how uh, we can achieve uh, our a journey uh, from monolithic to microservices uh, based application and yeah that's it uh, for this video uh, thank you very much uh, for watching this and see you next time uh, please leave comments or questions uh, if you have to like the video uh, please subscribe as well thank you for your time